We are back with a closer look at the growing crisis unfolding inside our nation's classrooms. School districts are once again scrambling to find enough teachers for the school year, an issue that worsened during the COVID pandemic. Well, now administrators are turning to the most extreme options to fill those positions, often at the expense of students. NBC News senior policy reporter Shannon Pettypiece joins us now for more on her reporting here. Hey, Shannon, good morning. So walk us through the big picture here. How has the lack of teachers in school gone from, you know, an issue and then a crisis really now to this catastrophe and how much of a problem is it across the country? Yeah, well, I mean, you mentioned that there was really a wave in teacher resignations over the past couple of years during the pandemic. Uh, early retirements went up, resignations increased. Education officials attributed a lot of that to just teacher burnout as well as a strong labor market where people could switch careers and in a lot of cases make more money than they were teaching. But what some sort of saw as a post-pandemic labor market hiccup has just persisted for yet another school year where school officials that I talked to in a range of states, North Carolina, Arizona, Illinois, Pennsylvania, all really echo the same thing in that they are just not getting enough applications and enough interest to fill the empty mm -hmm. jobs that they have, leaving them once again scrambling to figure out how to have an adult in front of classrooms when students show up in just a few weeks in a lot of districts. What are some of these hurdles that might be causing teachers to leave their positions? You know, you just mentioned we were referencing this wave of reg resignations that we've seen. What is that about and, and what is it that schools can do to try to stop that? You know, obviously you're trying to fill these current holes, but try to stop what it is that's making teachers want to leave the profession. Yeah, well, uh, principals, administrators, teachers who I talked to, they said there's a range of things you know, uh, stressful hours, um, criticism from parents, outside political groups uh, attacking teachers and uh, trying to get more involved in uh, the curriculum and, and lobbying accusations against teachers, as well as pay. Um, in this labor market, a lot of teachers can make more money elsewhere, um, and there kind of becomes mm -hmm. a bidding war among teachers in some situations. And at the same time, fewer people are going into education Again, partly because of that pay equation, particularly with students who are going to graduate with a lot of debt, uh, the salary for a teacher just isn't appealing to them. And then they say this problem essentially snowballs on itself, where now there's fewer teachers, they're having to combine classrooms, having teachers fill in during their uh, planning breaks, leading to more burnout, and they just see the problem getting worse, not getting any mm -hmm. better, uh, despite efforts and talk by policymakers about this problem over the past couple of years. And Shannon, quickly before I let you go, of course, I have to talk about what's this doing to the students? What are we seeing this happen to students in classrooms? Well, certainly there's this documented learning loss in the test scores in areas like reading and math we've seen since the pandemic. Uh, without certified full-time teachers in their classroom, school officials, education experts say that learning loss is, if not persisting, certainly not getting better because students can't get the individualized one-on-one -on -one attention they need from a fully certified trained professional. All right, Shannon Pettypiece, important reporting. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.